Welcome to another Kadaz Productions video. We're going to have a look in this video at the Great Train Show. This event was held on June 8, 9 and 10, 2019 at Rose Hill Gardens and conducted by the Epi Model Railway Club. This is an annual event and generally attracts large crowds over the three days. The next display is Fingal. Fingal is based on a relocation 60 kilometres east of Canara Junction on the main Launceston to Hobart line in Tasmania. All the rolling stock is handmade as there is no current ready to run Tasmanian rolling stock available. This layout is 00 scale on hand laid 14mm track. This gives the track a true prototype 3 foot 6 gauge look. The display tries to create a typical image of what it would have been like in this area during the 1960s and 1970s. Let's now have a look at Goulburn. Goulburn is a town 225 kilometres south of Sydney on the main south line between Sydney and Melbourne. The layout has tried to capture as much of the large and complex facility as possible. However, some selective compression has been required. The trains being run are typical of those that ran through Goulburn from the steam era through to the start of the candy colour steam era in the 1980s. The layout consists of six separate modules and is operated by conventional DC block control.
Scotsman, I want to say this. This next display, Grey Gum Creek, is based on a typical Queensland country station. The scenic part of the layout covers 4.8 metres and has a track plan which includes a passing loop at the station, a goods shed siding and a cattle dock. The layout also features a creek and a bridge crossing. Let's now have a look at Hoyt Catwell Tractor Factory, an ON30 layout. This is a freelance narrow gauge layout designed to fit a lot of railway in a small space. The layout was designed and constructed by Jeff Potter. The scale gauge combination of ON30 is a USO scale, quarter inch to the foot, running on HO width track 16.5mm. This roughly equates to 2 foot 6 inches in the real world. The layout features small diesel mechanical locomotives by Fordson, Brookvale and Malcolm Moore. These locomotives were close cousins of the agricultural tractors, many using the same power plants. Now let's have a look at IDR models. This is a small demonstration layout of the locomotives they currently have in production. These are the X200 and 70 class New South Wales locomotives. We'll now have a look at Martin Vale. Martin Vale is a combination of many parts from around the world and really doesn't exist. The layout includes an operational German Z gauge model rail front part, it has a British operational coal loader, an American operational 130 foot turntable, and an operational steam water tower. Also included is an Australian static Ampol depot and dairy farm. Overall, it's just a fun layout. 